what is being called the third year of the pandemic and disrupted supply chains and business operations are slowly reforming. From solar manufacturing plants in Vietnam to Chinese-made components assembled in Malaysia, companies have developed a more sophisticated system to track trade in Southeast Asia. And that's partly thanks to a landmark regional trade pact, RCEP, or RCEP as it's also known, which kicked in at the start of the year. For clues on what other benefits the pact could bring to member economies, let's bring in Leonard Young of business expansion consultancy Tricor. It's great to have you on the program, Leonard. Let's start by just picking up on how much of a benefit RCEP has brought to regional member economies and in what ways are you seeing this play out? Thank you, Karishma. Well, RCEP, uh, as you know, covers approximately 30% of the world's population. So the base of the opportunity is about 25 uh, trillion US of GDP. And what RCEP essentially brings is common source of origin uh, and brings together the 10 ASEAN economies plus the five uh, down in uh, the Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, and up in North Asia, uh, Korea, China, and Japan. Uh, so this is really monumental in really triggering um, a COVID, uh, you know, restoration and growth. Which countries in the region are benefiting the most, do you think, Leonard, from this integration that RCEP has brought? Yeah, from what we see from our clients, I think predominantly uh, twofold. So one in North Asia uh, around China still remains a major recipient of foreign direct investments. And then also uh, towards the South in ASEAN, uh, FDI has actually gone up by about 35% uh, post COVID. So I think uh, in particular within ASEAN, some of the emerging markets such as Vietnam and Indonesia uh, represent uh, really uh, the, the real opportunities that we see uh, that, that is emerging. How did the pandemic, do you think, help or harm this integration? Did it accelerate any regional trends that you were already seeing? Well, the pandemic uh, basically uh, provided the opportunity for a lot of uh, businesses to relook at the supply chain resilience. And that actually led to more diversification, reshoring, in particular from North Asia down to ASEAN. So I think uh, what you have is uh, people are beginning to, to reconsider the supply and logistics and under the RCEP, which gives you a common source of origin, but also uh, you know, trade uh, lowering of tariffs between the member nations, uh, we see uh, a shift uh, from, from north uh, down to south as well. So I think that, that kind of gives uh, the, the impetus uh, for the next layer of growth uh, beyond COVID. Leonard Young there of the Business Expansion Consultancy. Tricor, thank you so much for joining us on Asia Business Report with your thoughts on how that regional trade deal is helping member economies integrate further in a post-pandemic era.